Hey everyone, it's Marco here at Alliance Concrete Pumps for this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, I'm just going to share some stuff uh, regarding the ice cube relays in the control panel. Uh, sometimes they go bad and, you know, there's a lot of wires plugged into them. So let's, let's get going on this. Obviously, uh, in your control panel, you should have your control panel diagram. It comes in handy for things like this and any wiring on the pump. It is an absolute lifesaver. So for this, all we're going to do is uh, we're just going to talk about K103. It applies to all of these ice cube relays, and these two up here are a little different, but same idea. Uh, starting off, you can see we have one, two, three, four rows. Uh, three sets of those have four columns, and the one just below the relay is only uh, two. So what we have here is a trigger for the relay and a ground for the relay. Uh, in this case, K103 is for the emergency stop switches. So if the pump was on, e-stops were cleared, your pills was lit up, uh, this little green LED back there would be lit up. Now if, uh, let's say, K103 is not lighting up, what you can do is you can take a test light I prefer there's a little ground stud in here right beside your door. Um, I always recommend testing the ground, so if you use a multimeter, test it to a ground on the truck so you, you know it's good. Once you know that, um, you can take a test light, and then in this case, X13, we'd hook it up and we'd see 12 volts, 11.6 volts, whatever you'd get, and that would let us know this relay is getting power. Now, for something like the e-stop relay where we're not getting ground, what that means is uh, it could be an e-stop is hit. Um, it could mean breaking the wire, something like that, even, even a loose connection in the e-stop box itself. So if you don't see that green light, the relay is not active. Obviously, you want to make sure that the relay should be active. If you're trying to diagnose a relay that's not turning on when it's not supposed to be on, you're going to be chasing your tail. Now. That's the, the trigger system for the relays. Like I said, these two are a little different. We have it, same thing, just below the relays, but they're a little more spread apart, so we have a trigger and then a ground for that relay. As for the three other rows, the bottom row is kind of a common, so uh, the input almost. We have the common rail, we have a normally closed, and then a normally open. So when that little green light is not lit, normally closed is active. When it's lit, normally open is active because now that circuit's closed. Um, when something like this goes bad, it tends to only take out one vertical column. It won't go out completely. So uh, the little contacts, they're very fragile in the relay. They'll bend, uh, contacts go bad, right? It's uh, almost a mechanical relay. So what will happen is, let's say this column goes out, um, M12 is ground, X25, we'll test that one. So, you know, you can take your test light, pop it right in the little circle above. You'd see 11.6, we're gonna say 12. Oh, cool, we see 12. Uh, we'll see, let's say a green light. We'll go up to our normally open, which should now be closed. We check, and if we get zero, you know, maybe even five, we can change this relay and that should restore something. So if you have extra relays in your panel, I recommend using those. If you don't, you want to use, you can always contact, contact us about it, but use a relay that you know is good out of here that you can sacrifice for a bit just to test this. Now, swapping the relays, fairly easy. This one's on the end, so we're very lucky with this. Unscrew, very small Phillips head. I only like to do one side and tilt this out of the way because this little, little boy likes to get lost. And then just put that back in, three threads so it doesn't fall out and you don't lose that. I'm sure you guys have seen you lose the screw and that hangs down for the life of the pump. So we just pull that out, pull the relay out, grab a good one, you know, brand new, one we know is good. We can swap a relay if, if recommended. Pop the new one in and we just reverse the process. So we throw that screw back in, line it all up. Do that a little bit by hand and send it home. And the same thing goes for all of these columns and all of the troubleshooting. Some might not be power, some, you know, it'll signal a ground. 
Uh, use the diagram that comes in the panel as a reference. Go along with that. If you're troubleshooting, then it's a great tool to have, and I recommend using it at every possibility. As for that goes, that's troubleshooting a ice cube relay. Pretty simple. They go bad, so it should save you some time if you kind of memorize how to do this and, and learn the system. So that's all for this week. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or any ideas, please let us know and uh, give our service department a call if you need anything else. Thank you.